what's up guys for those of you who have been following i have been doing the beep test and i've just been trying to beat my score every week if you haven't seen the video i released already go to my channel and search how to increase your fitness with the beep test or just search beep test it'll come up right away in that video it'll teach you exactly how to get set up and what you should be trying to do what scores you should be trying to hit and just teach you everything you need to know about how to do the beep test on your own so I was going into this one, I was feeling really good. I was like, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna get 13.5 this week. And I really struggled through this one. And I'm gonna tell you why, so you don't go through the same mistakes yourself. Obviously I've been training, I've been doing lots of weights and my legs were destroyed this week. I did two heavy leg sessions. And going into this, I was feeling good. But as soon as I started running, the lactic acid was really building up in my legs and it was becoming a struggle. I, Like I said, I was looking to get around like 13, but I only ended up, well, I won't tell you exactly what I got till the end of this video, but I didn't get the score that I wanted because my legs were so heavy. My lungs felt good, my mind was there, but just my legs, it felt like I was carrying bricks around the field. So make sure if you were going to do the beep test, the day before you're not doing heavy legs or you're giving yourself a couple days rest to recover so you can come in and feel fresh so you won't feel heavy like I did. Also get yourself a really good warm up. I was really amped up. I wanted to get it on. I, I just wanted to get into it so I didn't get the best warm up. So make sure you get a really good warm up. Make sure your legs are really loose. You're stretching them out, getting all the tension out of the muscles so they don't feel really heavy when you're in the early stages of the beep test. So that's all I'll tell you for today. I ended up getting 12.1, so I still beat my score, which is good, it's progression. And like I say, guys, don't strive for perfection, strive for progression, just keep improving every time. <sighs> Had to take a second here, absolutely dying. So honestly, that was painful, it really hurt. I did beat my record, I got 12.1. Previous record was 11.11. .11. But like I was saying, I was just doing my Snapchat, I was telling the guys, my legs and my lower back were done on like level six and definitely because I did two heavy leg sessions during the week so that definitely didn't help. I definitely felt all the lactic acid way too early. So this one was more about mental strength and not giving up when your body's telling you hey take it easy slow down give up right now your mind has to say no I'm gonna keep going and that's what it's so much about it's it's just as much mental fitness as it is actually physical fitness your legs your body. So really work on your mental strength as much as your fitness, actually getting out there and running. Keep telling yourself, I can keep going. I can do this. This is easy. I'm a beast. And you just need to learn to push through that pain. And that is half the battle. In fact, it's probably more than half the battle. The other thing is just getting out here. Again, it's a mental thing, but having the discipline, having the motivation to get out here and do this stuff, put yourself through this pain. Because I was just here before, some kid was kicking around. What are they always doing? They're just juggling the ball, trying a few tricks, hitting one free kick, and then they just walk around, saunter around the field. Okay, that's not what, that's not what is going to get you fit. That's not what's gonna make you an impact player on the field. So yes, you gotta do the skills, of course. You have to be good at shooting. You, you wanna have a few tricks in your bag. But can you get out there and do the running, do the hard work, push yourself through the pain that no one else wants to do? And if you do, then you're gonna be ahead of everyone else. You're gonna separate yourself from everyone else and your performances are going to show how much hard work that you've put in on your own time when no one else is watching. So if you haven't seen already, check out the video I posted on my channel before I did this one. It's called how to run the beep test or how to increase your stamina with the beep test. And that'll show you exactly what to do so you can get started and start improving your fitness. I'll talk to you real soon.